Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at rhetorical knowledge. Rhetorical knowledge is the skill set that you need to be a good writer, an informed reader, and to engage in intelligent discussion. So what we're going to look at today is an overview for writers. What we want to take a look at is to identify how does a writer know when they've achieved their goal? Have you achieved your goal? All right, so let's take a look at a couple of things that we may want to look at during the writing process and once you've completed your piece of writing to identify if you've achieved your goal or not. All right, so our first one is, can you adapt your writing to different audiences, purposes, and medium? So in the big picture of things as a writer, you want to be strong enough as a writer that you can take your message and communicate to a variety of different audiences. You want to be able to adjust your purpose as needed and to change that medium. Okay, sometimes that can allow you to take your message and share it more broadly. And that can have a big positive effect on um, your ability to get your message out there. Can you take your piece of writing, can you repurpose it for different audiences and events? So for example, if you started out with, say, a blog post, can you take that blog post and can you change that into a speech? Could you record that speech and then put it up onto YouTube? And then could you share that with a different audience or with a larger audience? Can you alter the language behind it? Maybe add in a little bit more narrative or something like that so that you're giving some anecdotes to your uh, your readers, your audience, and can you then broaden your audience in that way? Can you reach out to a greater number of people by adding in some information or sometimes by taking some information away? As a reader, can you also read to analyze the writer's intentions behind their writing? As you read a piece, regardless of what that piece is, can you identify what was this writer trying to do? When this writer sat down to write, who is this writer writing to? Who is the intended audience? What was the writer trying to get across? If you can do that, you're becoming a stronger reader. And if your readers can do that with your writing, you can now really engage in some interesting, um, in-depth discussion around these topics that you're writing about. Can you also communicate with greater depth and breadth of understanding? So whether you're communicating in a spoken manner or in a written manner, can you analyze the information behind the writing? And then can you communicate about that with more depth and breadth? I think sometimes in our society, we're so um, stuck kind of sitting on the surface, kind of sitting with the, the one paragraph answer that it's really hard for us to get into really good depth and detail around topics. And sometimes that's just what we need. Sometimes we need more data. We need more research. We need more information so that we can really expand our understanding of topics. And finally, can you increase your understanding and communicate more clearly? So sometimes it's not just about giving more information, but sometimes it's just around clarification. Can you clarify your message? Can you uh, communicate without repeating yourself? Can you communicate in a manner that is easy for people to understand? Um, if you can do that, you can again expand your audiences, communicate your message to a broader audience, um, get your point across, share the research that supports your viewpoint and so forth. So again, rhetorical knowledge. Rhetorical knowledge is the skill set that you need to be a good reader a strong writer and to engage in intelligent discussion. I hope this information is helpful to you and good luck with your writing.